This show is proudly brought to you by TraderCobb.com. If you want to get bi-weekly video newsletters on the markets that are not shown anywhere else, just subscribe underneath this video on the homepage. If you'd like to get some access to the free webinars to work out exactly what these trading strategies are about, pretty simple. Just go to free webinars. And if you've got friends or family and you'd like to learn more about blockchain and what the opportunity is, well, I've got a full 40 minute course there for you under free courses. Please share this link around and get involved and enjoy the show. <laughs> The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Good everybody and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Listen, Bitcoin's starting to slowly move. It's not really had much to do today, but it is uh, grinding away ever so slowly. I would really like to see a strong push here on uh, on, B, uh, on on Bitcoin, simply because the longer it goes slowly, yeah. I don't know. It, it, I just would like to see this momentum pick up a little bit more. I mean, I mean, if we talk to the four hour here, there are higher lows and higher highs. The re most recent higher low and higher high was you know printed overnight. Uh, it came back down and. Uh, basically, it didn't quite get to 8000 but it was $8,051 um, and rejected that old resistance, a resistance level for which I actually entered a trade on. Now we have pushed to a higher high here and uh, a couple of hundred dollars, you know, $300 or so at its peak and the convergence is really, really, really good. Now, if I go from the 4 hour to the 8 hour to the 12 hour to the 16 and keep wor working my way to the daily, look, everything about all of these time frames looks quite bullish. It does. I mean, you're talking about the weekly being in an uptrend, the daily being in an uptrend, uh, every time frame below that also being in an uptrend. So right now, uh, as far as markets go, it's doing everything that I want it to do. Every time frame is in agreement. And that's the way I like to trade. The, the issue that I've got is I, I really want to see it commit to this direction. I, I just don't see it having fully committed yet. You know, I, I'd like to, if we're up around 8,500, uh, that would be a, a really, really good indication that we actually have, you know, kicked on and we, we look a lot stronger. Uh, I'm not saying that we're not strong. I'd just like to see a little bit more uh, coming from Bitcoin today. It's currently sitting at $8,258, up about a percent there. On to Ethereum now, and it's actually had a pullback uh, overnight, whereas Bitcoin's moved higher, Ethereum has moved lower. It's at $256, down 2.29%, and um, it's actually in the right area now, or starting to get into the right area for uh, four-hour cradle trades. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm not the, math, the, the biggest fan of the four-hour pullback, um, the way the chart's actually done that, but uh, in saying that, you know, it, it, it certainly is not terrible. Now, yesterday, there was a great little opportunity on EOS that I put out to my members and whatnot. Bouncing off of $6, it's sitting there about around about entry at the moment. So it's at $6.50, up 0.4 of a percent. And again, you know, a, a kick on from Bitcoin would really help uh, a lot of the top 10 here. Stellar Lumens is sitting point, sorry, at 12.4 cents, down 2%. It's, um, it's again, it's Stellar Lumens. It's, it's not doing a great deal. It hasn't done a great deal for a great deal of time. And that brings me to XRP, which is also in the same boat, uh, very sideways, not doing a lot. Yeah, look, it's still sitting at 40 cents. It's down 0.25 of a percent, not as much as Stellar Lumens is down, but um, it's not filling me with any reason for trading. One market that I do see as a potential, oh, sorry, having potential for trades right now is Litecoin against the dollar. It's, um, look, it is pulling back, um, the halvening issue, or not issue, but the halvening uh, um, topic has been discussed quite heavily um, and in depth recently. Of course, we have seen a very nice run here. You know, we're talking from $100 to 140 plus, um, and relatively straight line, you know, a little, little bit of a pullback there. So from my point of view, I'm just looking for a, um, for a pullback for an opportunity. You know, it might be on the eight out, it's not gonna be on the four. It could even be on the higher timeframes like the daily, $131 right now, down 3.63%. Bitcoin Cash, the star uh, of the top 10 uh, over the last 24 hours, it's actually up 4.6, sorry, 4.26 percent, and has actually recommenced its uptrend on the daily with a higher low and a higher high. Now, I'm not getting ahead of myself. I'm not pretending that this is a wonderful trend uh, right now, uh, a really strong trend right now, but it is there, and it's at 414, sorry, $415. We were struggling at that $400 mark for quite some time on Bitcoin Cash. Now, Binance has um against Tether, pushed on the new highs overnight, and it's just sitting just below at $34.88. It's 
pretty much flat on the day. Again, on the four hours, pull back into that cradle zone. Look, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this today. I don't mind looking for opportunities uh, as markets break to new highs. I actually quite like that style of trading. I'm long Binance against Bitcoin, so I'm going to have to go and have a look at that as well. But I'm happy to add to Binance, and I'm happy to add to any good trends uh, that are available. Tron is down 2.47%, sitting at 3.2 cents. Very average looking chart at the moment, unless it pushes on to new highs uh, um, on the four hour trend. And Cardano, after having a very strong run up, it has had a very strong pull back. And it's currently down 7.41% today at 8.9 cents. And look, again, it really needs to get above basically 10 cents. It's a round number. There's a bit of resistance up there. It's been finding some issues around that level for quite some time. If it can bust through there, I think we will see the potential for an upside, a very strong upside move. But time will have to um, pass before we know what's going to happen. Guys, don't forget, of course, jump across to tradercob.com forward slash classroom. Register for your attendance along to these events. All the pricings on that next page. So register your interest and let's see if you can get along. I'd love to see you there, guys. Take care. Have a great day and a great weekend. Bye for now. This show is proudly brought to you by TraderCobb.com. If you want to get bi-weekly video newsletters on the markets that are not shown anywhere else, just subscribe underneath this video on the homepage. If you'd like to get some access to the free webinars to work out exactly what these trading strategies are about, pretty simple. Just go to free webinars. And if you've got friends or family and you'd like to learn more about blockchain and what the opportunity is, well, I've got a full 40 minute course there for you under free courses. Please share this link around and get involved.